Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Skullbasher coming back at you with another video. Today's video is going to be a little bit off topic from my channel's name and pretty much everything about it, but I intend on continuing to talk about things that are related to gaming while I do these things. So, I thought it might be interesting t for me to do a little bit of vlogging. Like, um,. But this specific is more like a challenge vlogging type thing. It's kind of different. But basically what I wanted to do was do like, basically I'm going to start working out again and I'm going to try to start getting back in shape and things like that. And uh, I thought I might implement that with this channel, see how that goes and show my results. And not only is it something interesting and, in a, you know, something good to do with this channel, but it's also something that I can that will keep me on track and keep me to continue to go to the gym, continue to go work out, go run, you know, whatever, whatever I'm supposed to be doing, I'll do, I'll stay on my, you know, my diet. I don't, I don't like to call it diet. I don't know if anybody knows anything about fitness that's watching this, but I'm sure you know that diet's not the word you want to, you want to use because of the fact that you don't want to starve your body. You know, you want to eat the right things. You want to eat healthy, you want to eat lean, but you don't want to, you don't want to starve your body because then your body goes into starvation mode and then you'll hold on to fat and you won't be able to burn that fat. But uh, basically, I mean, and on top of that, I kind of want to add a little bit more muscle to my body because by doing that, I can, I think I can, you know, I already have a fairly fast metabolism because I eat terrible a lot of the time. But, um, but I would like to add some muscle to my body so my metabolism will skyrocket even more but also I just think it'd be fun to do you know and engaging and so it might be something that I definitely will be starting to do but uh anyway I've got to figure out a lot more of this camera type stuff and editing and trying to do stuff with OBS and I'm also using XSplitter but I can't seem to get everything just perfect yet, so I'm still working on that. So basically what I'm trying to do is uh, be able to record me while I play games and things like that. And I know XSplitter does that. I am just haven't had an opportunity to figure that out yet. So that's something that I definitely will be pursuing in the future. And uh, I'll definitely be doing some reviews and things like that. And this is definitely going to go under a completely different tab than my other stuff. It's going to be under my commentary type stuff. I may even make something totally different for vlogs and things like that. I just – I think it's good for my channel for me to have a presence because I don't think that it's very engaging if all I'm doing is playing video games and I'm just talking. I mean that's that's okay, but I still think – my subscribers and my, you know, my followers and my people who view my videos should know who I am. So and I think that that's going to be something that helps grow my channel is me being on these videos. So anyway, I know I'm going to do some individual reviews and stuff like that. But uh, one of the things I didn't show last time was my NVIDIA Shield. And I should turn down the brightness on this so it doesn't look over overwhelming but for this specific thing I'm not really going to because I'm not really doing a review on it but this is actually called the Nyko power grip the thing that's on this and it also uh, charges the device so that's what it looks like without the the Vita and this is the PlayStation Vita also so and that's normally what it looks like well actually it's normally black but I put some sticker type stuff on it it's basically to protect it and things like that so it doesn't get scratched up but then i you know the the battery on this isn't the greatest so that's why i got the nyko power grip and the other reason is it's got grips so i can actually hold on to it and the analog sticks aren't still aren't that great and to be honest i mean i have to admit the you know the playstation vita was somewhat of a fail 
And I think that was mostly Sony's fault, to be honest. I mean, I know they're the ones that released it, so they're the ones behind it. But I think where they where they messed up was advertising and getting it out there. I mean, I know they. I think they had an advertisement with Taco Bell. Basically, they had a Vita giveaway before it came out, or but and I know that actual commercial was released during the Super Bowl or something like that. So. Point being is, I think that's where half of Sony's problem is, is advertising. I think that they just think they're such a big company that they don't need to advertise at all. But, I mean, for example, like some of these, like Assassin's Creed, they released a game on this. And they basically did their own advertising for the game. So, And, I mean, they just had a late start, too. Like, I mean, now this device isn't even... I mean, it's still a great device, don't get me wrong, but when they're actually going to roll out with it, you know, actually use it for what they said they were going to use it for in the very beginning, it almost was too late because everybody else had done it at that point. They were ahead of, ahead at one point, and to be honest, they should have been, you know, making games years and years before, maybe not years and years, but, you know, at least a year started working on games before they launched this, and they probably did for some of these, but they needed to do more quicker. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't a complete fail, and it's a great device, and I played it for a long time, but I definitely enjoy my NVIDIA Shield much better because it just has so many other features besides that, which I guess you could argue that this does too with the PS4 and the um, remote play, but I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know, I guess they're both really good devices, but I really do enjoy my NVIDIA Shield a little bit better, mainly because, I mean, it's a full-blown controller. It's got a, it's got analog sticks. It's got everything you possibly need for gaming. And right now, I'm, I don't know, this is the phone that I currently have. It's the Note 3. The Note 4 is out now, so. So, I don't know. It's a nice phone. Obviously, you can tell that it looks huge. And I really think that's where... Well, I mean, I know that's where phones going are going. Because, I mean, look at the new iPhone 6 Plus. And even the iPhone 6 is pretty big. Even though I'm not really... I'm not a very big Apple fan. And actually, I think... I don't know. I mean, I'm not trying to... You know, if people are... If people like... Apple, that's fine, but it's not my favorite company, to be honest, just because I think a lot of other companies offer things that they offer for free, just about. Like the LG G2 is free, and it's the, it has a 1920 by 1080p screen, so does the iPhone 6 Plus. The iPhone 6 is 750p, and the uh, iPhone 5S is 720p. Going from the iPhone 5 to the iPhone 6 is not a very big jump resolution-wise. Now, spec-wise, you know, hardware, you know, that may be a different story, you know. But to be honest, there's really no need to go from an iPhone to an iPhone 6. Now, you might go from an iPhone to an iPhone 6 Plus, but to be honest, it's like between $300 to $1,000 for an iPhone 6 Plus. And... It's just, to me, it's not worth it. So, especially when the LG G2 is free, the OnePlus One is like 250 off contract. Um, it's just, I found, like, and here's the other thing is, they, fi they finally bring NFC to the, uh, to the iPhone, or to Apple. And then they lock it down and only use it for one purpose, and that's um, that's NFC payment, which is basically the same thing as Google Wallet. And so Apple Pay, Google Wallet. Google Wallet's been around for a long time, though. So anyway, I think it's been around for like two to three years. And now Apple's finally doing it. And then they're also holding people back because 
companies have been forced to shut it down because of the fact that Apple is trying to charge companies to use their services. So basically they're going to implement a service that Apple uses and they're not going to ask them to do it basically. I'm, I'm not going to go into all of that, but basically um, I just think iPhones are a bad investment. I mean, I mean, I guess you could look at it differently if you wanted to and say that it is a good investment because you can get more for an iPhone later on than you could like a good bit down the road. You could get more for an iPhone than you could another phone. And I think that's just the name. I mean, it's like Louis Vuitton. I honestly don't see what people see in Louis Vuitton. It's like, to me, it looks, I mean, not to be disrespectful or mean, but it looks like dog poo. I mean, the color's brown and black. So it doesn't look that appealing. But yet, you know, it's $500, $350, $400 for a little bag. Even the wallets, I think, are like $250. I don't, it's ridiculous, stupid. I'd rather have just a plain black wallet and be done with it. Or, you know, I don't know. But point being is it's definitely not worth it. So, anyway, I kind of went way, way off topic. But I kind of just want to find things to talk about and try to figure out what y'all want to hear and what y'all want to know about, what y'all want to talk about. Kind of would be cool to get some other people to collaborate with and people that talk about this type of stuff. If anybody does talk about this kind of stuff on their channel. It would be more interesting if I had somebody else to talk to about this stuff so it's not just me going on about things and it's not anyone else putting their input in because I'm sure that – I mean you can put your input in the, the comments and maybe I'll look at the comments and I'll say, you know, I'll take it to a next, the next video and talk about my opinion on what you've said in the comments. So maybe that could be interesting, but in the future I would like to have somebody else to be in the channel with me. You know, even if they're somewhere else, you know, and just talk about tech. Because, I, I mean, I can talk about tech all day. I don't – I hope I can find people that want to subscribe to me that really are passionate about tech because without that, this channel is going to be very boring to most people a lot of the time. But that's why I'm trying to do some of that gym stuff, and I'm going to try to not to be completely too technical unless y'all completely ask me to be. So – and the reason I'm I'm doing that is because I want to you know I want I want everybody to be able to enjoy my channel. I don't want just one person to be able to be able to come in here and say, oh, well, you know, I like tech, but I don't think everybody's going to relate to it, you know. And that's I want everybody to be able to relate to my video. So, and I know I'm not going to be able to please everybody, but I'd like to have something for everybody, hopefully. So, this this channel will be primarily gaming and tech related. But there may be times that I do other things besides that, and this is uh, going to be a wide channel because I'm definitely going to come at from different angles and, you know, try out all kinds of different things. And I'm going to just talk about what I'm passionate about and what I enjoy and what I have fun doing. So um, another thing I have is the the uh, Elgato game capturing, game capture HD Elgato, uh, basically allows you to play console games, stream them, record or record console games, and then I'm able to upload it to YouTube or wherever I want to. Basically, it's just to record console games and things like that. I want to start recording uh, Android games and. I'm going to have to watch some videos to figure out how to uh, do that. I know it's easier. Most of the time I would say this isn't the truth. But, I mean this isn't the case. But this particular thing is actually easier to do on iOS or Apple or iPhone than Android because I heard a little bit about it, but I didn't really get into it. So I've got to do some more research before I talk too much about it. But basically – I think it basically what that thing is is you plug it into the the thing uh to the phone and phone or device or whatever you're playing the Android games on and it decodes it cuz I I'm not really sure how that works but basically what I will be trying to do is record gameplay from Android on my Nvidia Shield my uh Nvidia Shield portable and Nvidia Shield tablet 
Also, I need to get better uh, editing. I have Sony Vegas. I don't know where Sony Vegas is at this moment, which really sucks because that thing's like six hundred and something dollars or five hundred and something dollars when I bought it anyway. That's how much it was. So I may have to use Movie Maker for a little while, at least till I find it, or I might have to buy it again. I don't know yet. We'll see. But uh, this would be more fun like today i don't know I, I think sometimes i need to just do commentary but probably would have been more fun today if i could have played some video games and actually recorded me while i was playing those video games and i've got to figure out how to do that because i was using xsplit and it was working really really well and then i try to use my my webcam and it just didn't want to work at all so that's one of the things that I'm having different type problems with, so trying to find something, but it doesn't look like I'm going to. So anyway, this is Skullbasher. Have a good one.